have a colony of lots of individuals or even a few individuals, obviously you have to communicate and coordinate so you can divide up the jobs. And ants communicate with each other in some of the ways humans do. Many ants have good eyes and can see things and maybe not so good ears. But they have a very, very good sense of smell. The antennae are basically smell organs. They also touch things and feel things with their antennae. But the antennae on all insects almost are basically their noses. What is smell? Smell is when molecules are floating around in the air and you breathe them in and you can tell what they are. And that's what happens with ants. Molecules float around, they hit receptors on their antennae and they know what that smell means. And then it turns out that ants have lots and lots of different glands for producing different smells. That's a big way that they communicate with one another. They also communicate with one another by touching each other and things like that, but a big way is through smells. So say an ant is in one part of the nest and it's maybe repairing a tunnel or something, and all of a sudden some bad creature enters the nest, like a spider or something, and it wants to invade the nest and eat all the ants. That ant will put out from one of its specialized glands what we call an alarm pheromone. It's basically like a warning smell. And that warning smell radiates out and another ant smells it and it runs towards it and it sees, oh, that's a spider, it's gonna take more than two of us, and it puts out some. Now there's an even bigger pulse going out and it's a way of communicating, warning something's happening, come here right now.